Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Success, success. Um, welcome uh, to our little session down here. They're calling it Seminar One. I don't know why. It's got nothing to do with with Greer or anything. Um, Global events is, is the title of this, and I'm Eddie Rowan. I'm the events manager with Tourism and I. Uh, and all I'd like to do before we bring Roger Pry from Heavenly On, uh, all the way from Wales today, over to to speak to you. Uh, I'd like to run, maybe take 10, 15 minutes to run through almost what Catherine said above, what we've achieved in the events world within Northern Ireland uh, for the past um, four years, basically. There'll be some videos in there and lots of pictures, so it's more of a pictorial, videotorial, whatever you want to call it, and just to try and maybe get the, uh, the cobweb blown up for, the, for this morning. Uh, we'll begin with the plot. The plot almost happened uh, four years ago, uh, and I do recognise that a long time before that many people were uh, coming through hard times and finding it difficult to produce events in Northern Ireland. However, four years ago, from a, a tourist board point of view, that's really when the plot decided to um, be produced. And in 2011, we accomplished the MTV Music Awards, which I hope uh, everybody will be familiar with. That was a lot of events that took place across the whole of Belfast, that coincided with Belfast Music Week. Uh, 1.2 billion people watched it across the world, 22 million economic impact, you can see the figures on there. And basically that was the catalyst for the realization that Northern Ireland could achieve globally that what uh, any other country could, and certainly the recognition came for that. The recipe for the success of that basically was that work commenced on the event strategic vision document. And this was an internal document that was created to try and enhance uh, and produce the, the template for how we could move forward in future years, certainly in global recognition but also internationally. Um, and we did this in, in a few different ways. And this document is now live, it has been since 2013. Basically, from a permanent point of view, at the top of it was the bid for global events, like uh, the Giro d'Italia, the uh, Irish Open, and uh, I'll, I'll name the Tour de France because it'll get some people thinking, but that doesn't exist. Um, and then beneath that we had international tourism events, which we had funding programs for. In relation to international tourism events, the realisation was also there that a one-year funding program to support international events was not uh, efficient, it wasn't going to work, because these events could not prepare for the future. So we changed that and moved that to a three-year program. Below that, the national scheme which we had at the time was a very protracted scheme, so we, we introduced a, a lesser scheme called the sponsorship scheme, which didn't tie up uh, too many hours of the day compared to what the, the previous uh, fund actually had. As part of that document as well, we formulated how we were going to go for the, the, the bidding for events, the global events, which is what we're discussing today. And we have the um, executive strategy group, which sits at the very, very top. And then there's a major events bidding group, and that's the group responsible underneath uh, that we decide what events would be good to bring to Northern Ireland, what we can afford to bring to Northern Ireland, and uh, would they be positive for the country. When that's decided, then it goes to the strategy group, the uh, events uh, executive group, and then the decision is taken. If the decision is taken to host an event, we are successful with the bid. Then we have special advisory groups that sit up underneath that. So there is a, a formulated plan that does exist, it's just now kind of haphazard. In 2012, we had what we call a momentous year. Um, everybody had probably a memory of 2012 to some degree. We had over a million visitors that, that came to, to Northern Ireland to witness 2012. NI 2012, our time, our place. The Titanic, of course, opened in, in 2012. That, Pictures of the Titanic Festival, which was the light show that lit up the building, and was supposed to be a story of the actual production and then the eventual demise of the ship as it happened. For the first time ever, when uh, we were successful in bidding for the Irish Open, because it was 60 years from it ever had been in the country before, however, previous to that, it was never bid for. So we were very pleasantly. Uh, uh, told that at the end of that particular event it had sold out. It was the first ever European tour event to sell out. And that's right across the whole of Europe. So that was a, a great achievement. We had up in Derry, London Derry, we had the Clipper return, which was a, a massive festival. 55,000 people, 57,000 people came to, to see it coming in. And that sailed right around the world. It was branded with, uh, with the city over it. And there were people from the city actually traveled with it the, the, whole, the whole journey. 
I'm going to show a little video of uh, 2012. And, uh, oh, yeah, participants and visitors came because of the World Police and Fire Games. And then we had the first ever <coughs> UK city of culture in Derry, in Derry. 170 events and projects they had across the course of that whole year. And they uh, said it was Ireland's biggest ever year-long festival, which no doubt seen some of the stuff that happened at it. It certainly was. We had the Turner Prize, and that was the first time it ever came outside of England, and to be part of the UK city of culture. That's a photo of the return of Colm Kill. There were some spectacular events across the, uh, the year of 2013. 2014, where we just passed, which was the Giro d'Italia. Now, um, I, I don't know who was and wasn't involved in the Giro d'Italia, but from a personal point of view, I don't believe I've ever seen public buy-in in Northern Ireland like there was for the Giro d'Italia. It was a, an amazing achievement, a momentous achievement, and off the back of it, those are some stats and figures that came back from it, in particular 227,000 visitors to Northern Ireland to watch it. Now, that doesn't mean out of state, but it means right across the board, from out of state, from Europe, from the world, from local. And the global viewing figures, phenomenal again, 56 million. Uh, and the event was mostly a huge success because of the buy-in of the Northern Ireland people. Everywhere went pink. There are areas that went pink that I had seen various colours on in, in the rest of my lifetime, but certainly never pink. And, and to transform those areas into pink zones was just a phenomenal achievement. And something I think the country should be very proud of. I'm going to show you a little video. It does encompass some of the things of the past, we're going back to 2011, 2012 as well, but mostly around the, the year, and I thought it would be worth viewing. Thank you. 
behind it will be in Northern Ireland next year. Organisers of the Giro d'Italia say the cycle race will generate two and a half million pounds for the local economy in May. Well, the cycling craze is taking over Northern Ireland. It's about to get even bigger. objective is to bid for and host one major global event each year. So far we've achieved that, so far we're on course for that and uh, we hope to keep achieving that. And There are many exciting times ahead, we need everybody to be part of that, we want everybody to be part of that because it is a huge tourist um, uh, industry that is backed by events and if we can combine the two to make sure that they all sit together and everybody can be part and parcel of it is uh, it's going to be a great achievement for it all. I have um, a little 30 second video, I'm not going to keep it in more, but these are too good to miss. It's just a little snippet and it does refer to the Irish Open and, and, and the British Open, but mostly what's happening in May in Royal County Down. by your producer, the lead role, crew member, or, or just a, a member of the audience, and your conscious involvement will ensure that uh, Northern Ireland continues to lead the way, producing momentous and economically rewarding events on the global stage. And that's it for me. I'm glad to hear it. Just leads me to. Uh...